What's up, everybody? Um, chilling in my garage right now. Just got back from Easter party. So all the kids were running around and catching Easter eggs. And it was fun. Ate a lot of food. Just got home Sunday. I really wanted to post this video. Um, someone had commented on my last video asking about estimate sheets, how I do my estimate sheets. And I remember when I first started, I was lost on how to do this. I mean, I was literally sending people estimates, hand wrote on, on notebook paper, taking a picture and email. I'd be like, I'll email the estimate over to you. And I'd write it all up on, on notebook paper and I'd take a picture and I'd email it to them. I sent this to like car dealers and stuff. And I'm like, why aren't they responding? I quote them like a dollar a pain. They should be, they should be dying to hire me. It's all right, man, that's learning pain. That's the shit you gotta go through to understand what works and what doesn't work. So, I highly recommend getting a CRM software. It's quite a learning curve at first, but if you contact them to help you with how to use the software, you'll stand out from competitors and you'll look very neat and professional and everything's organized You know, once you learn how to use it. It's cool. Until then, and you can even use these with the CRM. Here, how much you can use these. Now I designed this in Microsoft Word, okay? This little blank spot is to put the customer information, like their name and address, the date of the estimate. Um, I'm actually really good at getting reviews and stuff, so I put DeKalb County's number one highest rated and referred local window cleaning power washing company, bam! I actually changed, changed my logo, it's like fancy looking now, so I'll have to show you that. I, I just ordered some updated uh, door hangers. Um, so yeah, you guys, these are the services I offer. Premium, deluxe, basic for window cleaning. House wash, soft wash. Now, if you go to my website, where is it at? It should be on here, oh yeah, duh. TheCalbWindowCleaning.com. It's a very clean website I got made for a thousand bucks. If you're interested, let me know. I'll put you on with my guy. Um, but I actually have my pricing for window cleaning on there, and that's what I use nine out of ten times. It's very simple, and now be warned, that's the pricing that works for my area. Pricing changes and is different depending on the location and demographic and you know what what not you know that like I'm sure I can charge a different price for window cleaning in Illinois than someone down in Texas or Florida or something or even power washing you know it's just so many factors going to play so it's really hard to tell you what to ch what you should charge but I could give you some tips on how to figure out what you should charge for another video <laughs> this is good for now Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Um, yeah, premium, deluxe, basic, house wash, oxidation, removal, surface cleaning, gutter cleaning. Now, say someone calls me for a house wash, you know, uh, write down the price of the house wash. I'll always throw in the window cleaning package. And if they need their gutters cleaned or maybe something, one of these two I noticed could use, then I throw an estimate in for that. You always want to throw an estimate in, even if they don't ask for it, give it to them anyway. So if someone calls for window cleaning, I don't ask them, are you just interested in the exterior or the, you know, I, it doesn't matter. I'm going to give them an estimate for everything. Um, so yeah, that's my sheet. I hope I stared, stared at it long enough so you can kind of copy it if you need to. I really don't use these anymore. I just email all my estimates and very fancy proposals with before and after pictures and testimonials and insurance information and introductions and it's very clean. But uh, this works. This definitely works. Just don't, don't jot your estimates down on notebook paper and try to email it to them like I did because it's never going to work out well for you. Actually, funny story, I got a $2,500 job writing my estimate down on notebook paper and emailing it to him. So it could happen, but it's not recommended. Probably could have charged more if I didn't do that. And, you know, but that was my first residential job. It was $2,500. <laughs>
I had a water fed pole and stuff by then because I was busting my ass with the, uh, um, what am I trying to say? Storefront and commercial and stuff. I was an animal. So, I think that's it, guys. Hey, listen. Thank you so much for commenting and um, subscribing and commenting, engaging. Um, you guys rock. Let me know if I can help. I'm here for you. Give me a call. We'll talk. We'll shoot the shit for five, ten minutes. Let me know. Keep hustling. Keep grinding. You guys got this. Peace.